We crafted our entire Twitter account growth strategy in 30 minutes using Grok AI, Elon Musk's new supercharged ChatGPT competitor. While Grok prides itself on having the wittiest responses, it also has one key advantage. It has access to Twitter data. This means you can do things in hours that used to take weeks, like analyzing competing Twitter accounts, understanding your customer and what types of content they enjoy, doing topic research, and understanding your audience's sentiment about any given topic. With the influx of new large language models, or LLMs, like ChatGPT and Google Bard, crafting marketing strategies with AI has never been easier. Whether you're interested in AI affiliate marketing, generating sales for your business, or growing your personal brand, we'll walk through everything you need to know. Stick around, because this AI marketing guide is not one you want to miss. Now, if you're asking how to use Grok, it's pretty straightforward. First and foremost, you'll need to be signed up for X Premium, which is going to run you $16 a month, but you can always cancel after doing your analysis. Once you've got that taken care of, just click Grok in the Twitter sidebar and use it like you would other LLMs, including ChatGPT4. If you're wondering which is better between ChatGPT and Grok, we have an in-depth analysis exploring the strengths and weaknesses of Grok versus ChatGPT4 versus Google Bard, so check that out if you're interested. Now onto the exciting stuff. Let's start by getting a sense for our competition and ask, what are the top performing Twitter accounts that talk primarily about AI? And it gave us the scoop on Elon Musk, Jeffrey Hinton, Andrew Ng, Jan LeCun, and Grigory Simakov. These are some of our competitors, and we might want to follow them to get inspiration and stay on top of the latest trends. One thing we want to know about our competitors is how they structure their tweets for maximum virality. Since there's a wealth of data on each specific creator, we'll ask about them one at a time, starting with Andrew Ng, one of the brightest minds on AI Twitter. Okay, so it seems like Grok misinterpreted what we meant by hook, as we were asking about the structure of specific tweets, but it gave us some interesting talking points that we may want to tweet about nonetheless. Let's try defining a hook as a pattern of speech that makes the audience want to read on and try again. There we have it. Now we have some great ideas, like starting with a question, a personal story, or stating an opinion of yours. We're also learning that consumers of AI content enjoy lists-style tweets. I'm willing to bet this is because most of us value efficiency highly, which is why we're early adopters of AI technology. One of the most important things we'll talk about today, in terms of crafting a great Twitter strategy, is developing a deep understanding of our audience. And one of the most critical things to know is called demographic information. In other words, basic information like age, gender, and education. Let's see what demographic data Grok has to offer. Okay, we have the basics covered. Grok's telling us that young adult males with a college degree are the most likely to engage in AI content on Twitter, and they also tend to be tech savvy. Unfortunately, Grok wasn't able to deduce anything about income or geographic location, as it doesn't have access to this data. But it is pointing out the statistical truth that, since our audience is college educated, they probably have a higher income than the average person. This is a great foundation of understanding about our audience, but let's go a step deeper to see if we can understand what other topics our audience is interested in, because we may be able to bridge these topics into AI. Now this is really interesting. Grok is telling us that our audience is interested in topics like climate change, social justice, and personal finance. This is useful on many fronts. For one, it gives us some topics that we should look into for AI-related angles we could explore in a tweet. For example, we could tweet about how AI is being implemented in climate monitoring systems to predict storms, droughts, and fires, all of which are now getting more extreme due to climate change. Not only can we incorporate these into specific tweets, but this also reveals some much deeper insights about who our audience is and what they care about. The next step would pull this info into Canva AI and lay out a first draft of what's referred to in marketing as an ideal customer profile. But in your case, it'd be a description of the quintessential viewer of your page. The viewer who's going to like and retweet all of your tweets and even tell their friends about your page. This is not a real person, but an imaginary amalgamation of all the information you can gather about your followers. If you'd like us to expand on this topic, let us know in the comments. Now that we understand our competition and our audience, we want to know what the trending AI-related topics that we should be writing about are. So let's ask Grok AI what topics are trending right now in AI. Okay, these are good, but very general. 
Generative AI, for example, encapsulates probably 80% of AI tools. This gives us some places to look, but isn't very helpful for coming up with ideas for specific tweets. Let's ask it to be more specific and see what the top three trending topics to tweet about are for a chance to go viral. Once again, the first suggestion is generative AI, but this time it gives some examples, like the implications of these new AI tools, like ChatGPT and DALI, on the content creation landscape and how to use them effectively. The second idea is very interesting, how AI is being used to improve social media strategies. So perhaps this video, in the form of a tweet, would do well. The third is AI video creation and how AI tools are being used to generate and edit videos. These are all actually really great ideas that we'll probably do some YouTube videos about. Let's say we're going to take Grok's advice and write some tweets about how to use generative AI tools effectively, which we have no reservations in doing, as this is what we already do here on AI World. Let's ask which tools seem to have a lack of understanding. Which tools do people ask the most questions about? There we have it. We have some AI models as well as some tools like Figma. These are some great ideas we'll be looking into. We can also look at some of these tweets of people complaining about a lack of learning resources for various tools and their difficulties in learning and teaching different tools. Now let's dive into some sentiment analysis to determine which tools people have strong feelings about. This helps us avoid talking about stuff people don't really care about and can help us frame how we should talk about these topics. For context, before all of these large language models, it took hours of Python coding and data scraping to do this. Now we can do it in seconds by simply asking Grok. Here we go, bit general, but you get the idea. We've got ChatGPT4, which seems to have overwhelmingly positive sentiment. Another tool with positive sentiment is Mistral 7B, which has performed better than GPT 3.5 Turbo in Zero Shot Financial News. On the flip side, Grok mentioned that Google and Gemini have received somewhat mixed sentiment, with some users expressing concern about Google's future. We didn't get too far into the weeds here, but sentiment analysis is a very powerful tool. You could go much deeper by asking Grok what the sentiment ratio is for certain topics, people or events. This would give you a sense of what percentage of people feel positively or negatively about the topic. Let us know if that's something you're interested in hearing more about. We've covered quite a bit of ground. We ran through crafting a Grok AI marketing strategy to take your Twitter account from zero to 60. From researching your competition to determine what you should emulate and how to differentiate yourself, to identifying and developing a deep understanding of your audience, and finally honing in on those specific trending topics to tweet about. As always, if you learned something in this video, do us a huge favor and generate a click on the like and subscribe buttons to stay in the AI world orbit. If you're interested in more AI marketing tips and how to make money with AI, check out our video on making a children's book using Canva AI, Claude AI, and Amazon KDP. See you next time.